I'll start because I probably have the shortest resume here. I actually just started <laughs> acting about five months ago. Uh, it was my very first time on the stage after years of secretly wanting to do it and kind of being discouraged away from it by various people. But uh, I finally jumped into it and it was the most amazing experience ever. Glad you're here. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I was in high school and I took a drama class um, and uh, you know it was, a pro it was a very small high school so everyone got cast in the play and so I got thrown into it, probably gave one of the worst performances of, of my career, um, <laughs> totally overacted it because I was having so much fun. <laughs> uh, well my first uh, role I was ever in was in uh, middle school and I played a chair. It was probably the most intense role I've ever played in my entire life, uh, but no, it was fun, and I just knew from then on that I really wanted to act, which is fun. Nolan, I heard you gave kind of a wooden performance. I did, yeah. My first experience on stage uh, was a little-known musical, Bye Bye Birdie, and I was absolutely terrified, and I was playing uh, a 30-year-old at the age of 17, so not much has changed, really. Yeah, my, mine is, just because it's so George, it's pompous, and no one in the, in the audience, or almost no one's going to know what it means, but my favorite line, and it sums up George, is he kind of responds to Tracy's comment about how she wound up with the wonderful C.K. Dexter Haven, and she says, well, we grew up together, and I kind of give this, you know, iron jawed, you know, well, I get it, uh, I see, and he says something called, Propinquity, which later on I found out means it's closeness. It's because you grew up near to one another. But it's such George. Instead of saying, "Oh, I see, you grew up together," he he pulls out some eight dollar dime store word that you probably wrote down <laughs> yeah. in Reader's Digest, and, he and that's so George. So that's that's my yeah. favorite one. <laughs> she says to Dexter um, about renaming a boat about re about you know we yeah. a boat over there is yeah. she's saying if you name any boat that i promise you i will blow it in you right out of the water <laughs> i mean that's such a violent statement and but i believe she's capable of it oh, yeah. which i think is hilarious she's, she's tough and beautiful and you know it's, it, that's the amazing thing about her is she's tough beautiful but she's also vulnerable and that's what i think that's amazing about the character or just any of the many lines that you say to me about yeah. me getting the hell out of there. <laughs> getting the hell out of there. there I know. Of yeah. Actually, everyone in the cast tells me to get the hell out of there. Like yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Everyone does. In yeah. their own way. Yeah, you just don't take a hint. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is so cool because like, that's a huge theme in the play is, is not leaving mm -hmm. and staying there and uh, being in complete denial. I don't know Something. about your feelings. You know? <laughs> Aaron, your your character Tracy says uh, when we're talking about the the books, and yeah. and she, she says, "Oh, C Connor, it's it's almost poetry," and which I then return with, "Don't fool yourself. Of course it is." As I love the interaction between you and um, Liz, oh, which is yeah. fabulous. You know, it's just like she's kind of like a, very much a. A woman in man's world mm -hmm. you know I think yeah. that's why my character likes her so much um, uh, it's just so fascinating to me how like these characters uh, are so contemporary mm -hmm. and uh, I mean you can look at it from that that point of view and say oh they're very you can play in this way or, or that way but they're very contemporary yeah mm -hmm.